Up the stage that you treat, bro. We heard Stomp it. That's what we have, bro. A couple of branches off that big bad boy. It fell off, bro. And that's it lying over there, mate. And it's fucking massive, all the wee arms and the big main branches in it. And there's another one of them over there. I'm gonna get in the saw, bro, and come down here and get it for you. Check it out, bad boy. There's our little Lara. She's Hi, Jordy. Hiya, Jordy. She's out with Dad. And we are at the big yew tree. Hey Laura, how you doing there? Okay, hey there everybody new to the channel. It's Jordy from Carving Fusion. So this is a little totem pole I carved out of basswood for my mystical, whatever, magical, mystical, same thing I think, magical wizard village. This carving's from Just Carve Rob, he sent it to me. And this is going to be the wizard that I'm going to use for the theme little house that I made with some shingles, a little owl on there. Every wizard needs owl. Well, well, Rob says needs three owls. So there's another owl that's going to be in the theme. Some little people trees, a wishing well, a big tree. That's the basswood that I carved the totem pole out of. So I need to make some more pieces. So today is going to be a bridge because I'm going to use a, I'm going to cut a log in half for the base, hollow it out. And it's going to have a cave in it, maybe with a dragon in it, the cave. And uh, there's going to be like an epoxy stream coming down it with uh, blue in it. Look like a stream or a river. So it needs a bridge. The wizard needs to cross the bridge to get to the little people's houses. So anyways, uh, this is a piece of cedar. My buddy Pete helped me uh, cut it out on his bandsaw this morning. Um, So... It's going to have walls. They didn't have safety reels back then, people, so don't uh, go calling safety people on me. So it's going to have walls. It's, I'm going to make it try and look like brick, I guess. I don't know, whatever. So these will be the walls, kind of. And like I spoke to Pete about it, it's a little bit steep one, so it's going to have to have stairs coming up here on each side, and a flat note in the middle here. So I guess all I can do is start carving. You know what I mean? It's getting late in the day, so I gotta get this sucker carved out. So it'll be stairs up to a certain point and I'll flatten it out in there and then I don't know if it's gonna be if I'm gonna make it look like bricks or whatever. I'll see. When I'm carving, that's when your mind opens up, guys, is when you start carving. But yeah, it's taking place. What else was there? Oh yeah, I need to have one more owl. What do you guys think? You think I should put the last owl on the chimney? There's one, there's two. And I need to have one more. This will just be stuck in stuck in the ground somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to start carving this. Okay, guys, let's start carving this. I got my RTX Black & Decker. Love this. Hooked up to a Dremel flex shaft. I'm going to be using my cut saw, taper burr, to uh, cut some straight lines along this edge here. And then I'm going to be switching over to my uh, cut saw, Extreme Flame Burr, guys. You know, if you want to get these cut saw burrs, go to this description below. Look for the link cut saw, and um, you can get there. Use code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. And the RTX and all the tools I use, guys, I'm an Amazon partner. If you want to get to this Black & Decker RTX tool, just look for the description below, and you can get to it from there, and you're just helping out the channel. That's all. Okay, so I'll start carving this.
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ah, well, I got a great, great life out of this Black & Decker RTX. It hasn't quite quit. It's still running. But I can tell from experiences with, with years' experiences with Dremels and these rotary tools, something's not right. So the mad scientist Pete agreed that he would take a look at it for me and maybe operate, it on, operate on this beautiful girl. You guys, I got so much carving out of this tool. I really did. I carved all my Christmas trees. I carved for the last two and a half months, I believe it is. I've carved nonstop with this tool. What a great tool. And I'm sad to see it go. And I'm telling you straight up right now, if this can't be fixed for the 60 bucks I paid, I'm buying another one. What I carve in two months is what some people might carve in three or four years. So guys, I still suggest it. And I'm not, Black & Decker doesn't even know that I'm using this. Black & Decker doesn't know who Carve Infusion is. And they don't give a shit who Carve Infusion is. So I'm not a Black & Decker partner or anything like that. I just love this tool. Oh. So anyways... Back to the Dremels, guys. I got my Dremel 400 hooked up. And I love Dremels too, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love Dremels too. One Dremel, two Dremel, three Dremels hooked up. Okay? So anyways, back to the bridge. Oh, I'm just so sad. See you, girl. See ya. So, I got this uh, hollowed out. Now... I'm going to decide what my next step's going to be. Oh yeah, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to carve the stairs. So what I'll do to carve the stairs, where is that burr? I got, uh, yeah, where is that friggin' burr I'm looking for? Okay, I got a cut saw burr here. It's, um, there's cutters on this side. I don't know, my phone's not friggin' zooming in. Okay, but this is clogged up, but there's cutters on this top side too. So all I'll do, so this is like a square cutter. All I'll do is carve straight in. Draw some lines on there and straight in. Until I get to the flat point, because you see I kind of got a flat point there. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, here's, here's a better one. This end's clogged up too though, but I need, this is a cut saw extreme I believe. I gotta clean that end out, so I'm gonna carve the stairs in now. Yeah, okay. As you can see I got some uh, steps curved in both sides so I use that first burr like something like this the cutter on the back side okay then I switched over these are all cut saw guys to this less aggressive one and it's smaller than the first one that I used jeez see this one's thicker first one I used now I switched over to this one just to get into the corners a bit better, make it so it's more squared off. So what I want to do now is I want to undercut all in here, okay? Because uh, you don't want it to, you don't want there to be a curve there and make it look like it all all attached, you know? If you make undercuts, guys, so it separates, it will separate this path, the bricks that I'm going to carve or whatever I'm going to carve in here from the rails. You know what I mean? So I'm going to carve deep under here this way like this to separate the rails from the path from the bridge thing you know what i mean okay so that's what i'm gonna do next also i also i think this is a great time of the video to um give a big shout out to um one of my loyal subs and he's been here from basically the beginning his name's angus defoe angus i really hope i'm saying your name right but guys angus is angus is um 
just gone through some major surgery and he's on the he's on the recovery now so i just wanted to say i guess um thanks for all your support and i wish you and i wish you a speedy recovery and um i support you just like you support me and, and uh, you're a great member of this community and i hope you're up carving again um really soon bud just take it easy rest is best for healing rest is best for healing take it easy angus okay so there's all the stairs carved in old mystical magical wizard stairs undercuts done so you can see the shadows there see it so uh here's another shout out to one of my uh subs he's got a youtube channel uh oh, his name's mario tata i believe it is or tata tutu i'm not too sure sure but mario has been uh making a wizard theme thing too he's made a bridge he's made a wizard he's made a troll he's made um a cabin what else have you made oh he's made a wizard thing so the wiz a wizard thing you can look into that's blue so here's a shout out to you mario what do you think of these stairs so far there mario anyways now it's time to do the bricks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw lines on here straight across Okay, like that. And guys, as, as I progress carving from watching Just Carve Rob's uh, channel, I've been using lots of diamond burrs. So all I'm going to do to carve these bricks in is just hit, it, draw them lines on, make them look like old bricks, carve it in quickly with this diamond burr. Okay, just real shallow, and then I'm going to burn it. Okay, so bricks will be on the sides, and then I'll carve round circles for stones in here. That makes sense. Okay, this little flame shaped uh, diamond bird. It's a pretty aggressive one, eh? What do you think about that one there, Rob? Yep, okay. So I think everything's on point. I got some bricks carved in for the stairs. You guys, this is why undercuts are also important too. Because you can see I can carry the stairs in. When you look at them, you won't see my stop and start cuts, okay? Because my start cut is underneath these bricks in there. You know what I mean? So it goes under there and that's where my start cut is. Start cutting, you can't see it. If you look that way, you might be able to see it a little bit, but looking straight on, you can't see my start and stop, ah, start and stop cuts. So that's that. You got some stones cut it, carved in. Just with that uh, diamond burr, guys, this is a real soft piece of cedar. So now I got my wood burner. I got the Amazon link for this. It will be listed below too. I think it's like 70 bucks. It's like a China one. Let's turn this sucker on. Okay, it's good to keep, keep keep your tips clean too. God. So I'm just going to go along here and just burn all in the bricks. But it's hard to do this because I'm holding my camera right now. So I'm going to do all this burning. I'm going to burn the bricks in between the rocks, in between the bricks on the stairs, okay? And maybe in the undercut. So that's what my next step is. Then I'll uh, Then we'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so 20 billion hours worth of burning on it. Oh no, I haven't burned the rocks. I gotta burn in between the rocks. No. But anyways, I just seen on YouTube, uh, Just Carve Rob got the beaver back from uh, Choose Your Own Path Rich there. They did a, a mutual thing for uh, Rob's 100 giveaway, 100 subscriber giveaway. So go over to Just Carve Rob's channel and look for his um, beaver. You gotta say I love beaver. Oops, you gotta say I want the beaver to be able to uh, win it. And you gotta be subscribed to his channel and Rich's channel. Anyways, I sh I'll burn the rest of this uh, in t between the rocks and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I got it all burnt in. I burnt in some cracks. I'm not carving bricks in the bottom of this. It's gonna be fastened down on this theme so nobody will be able to see it. Um, I will... Uh, Paint it black under there. So 
the rocks or stones are all burnt in. Just adds more texture, those little dots that I put on there. And I burnt the stairs in. See how I undercut there? Underneath the stairs. Just put some little things on the stairs, give it more texture. So uh, now I gotta get some poly shade. I don't have gray. So I'm not too happy with the colors I got here for this anyways. So I'm gonna have to go get pick up some more uh, poly shade and get a bite to eat. So uh, it's snowing here. And um, yeah, well, I gotta go for a 20 minute drive, get some, hopefully they have gray poly shade. But we'll see. I'd like this to be a different color than this. Adds more character, different colors, right? Okay, I'll be back. Oh, this wood burner, guys, it does heat up quite a bit. I had to put it down two times, burning this whole thing total because it got too hot in my hand. But you know what is what you pay for? It does burn really hot. And uh, I forget what I got this for, 60 bucks. But, you know, it's you get what you pay for. I'm not complaining. It's good to have a break anyways. Put things down, just rest, put the piece back, have a look at it. What do you think about that, Dusty Jordy with the balloon and Oswald the Grouch? Wow, it's a good job so far. Let's hope the uh, stain that you put on it, finish it with, makes it uh, turn out even better. Because that's what can make or break a piece, is what you use to finish a piece with. Okay, fuck it. I'm not going to go to the store and get some more poly shade. I'll just use what I got here. This is going to be stain. This isn't the poly shade. So I got a gray color, classic gray, and uh, my favorite color, provincial. So I got these two colors. I'm going to kind of blend them together and get this shit done. And we'll be back. We'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, bye. Yeah, I don't know what the goddamn hell happened, but this is the fourth time I'm filming this, and hopefully it records this time. It's done. So the little brush, it doesn't look as old as I want it to, but I really don't give a shit. It kind of looks gold, goldish color. So, yeah, there's stones, stairs. I hit it with my flap sounder after I did it. I uh, After I stained it, I quickly I quickly hit it with my uh, poly shade, dark color poly shade, because I wasn't too happy with the gray color it looked. It just looked too gray, but I'm happy with that. So there's another piece of the chapter done. I think this is my favorite so far, this uh, totem pole, spirit pole. It's supposed to be eagle on top there, but it kind of looks like a, I don't know, what are those birds called? I don't know, whatever. I like the roof too. That roof will never leak for all the roofers out there that say it's gonna leak, not a freaking chance. So got the owl back there. So there's another piece done to the uh, puzzle of the magical mustard was magical wizard theme. Jesus Christ, I must be high on these magic mushrooms. What do you say about that little owl? Blue magic mushrooms tripping out? I'd say so.